I'm going to just say one thing before I say the other thing. I'm going to be famous. It's in my destiny. It's, it's, it's so destined to happen. Um, I'm such a fucking name grab and hot commodity that people love to speak about. I'm going to be famous. I'm going to be rich. I'm going to be extremely successful. I'm destined for greatness and riches. And yeah, I'm talking about real famous, nigga. I'm talking about George Clooney famous, Denzel Washington famous, Michael B. Jordan famous. It's, it's going to happen. It's, it's destined. Yeah, exactly. You got to speak that shit into an existence. I said I was good. Everything, like I said, everything I say I'm going to do, I do. I made it to TV from being a nigga that started off with a camcorder. Do I still think I'm going to be streaming in two years? Shit, hopefully not. Olu out, still be streaming in two years if every single director told me no. And I don't think that's going to happen. Matter of fact, I know that's not going to happen. Oh, you just seen my comment? What did I say? Oh, <laughs> I didn't even realize I said something on the pick. <laughs> Yo, some of these picks, I'm a, some of these comments I leave on celebrities' picks, I'm going to pay for it later. Watch. She's going to see me one day and be like, so you said they don't look so fresh here? You're trying to say I don't look so fresh? I'm going to be like, look, I was in a different realm. Like, uh, life was different. Like, I was just trying to be an a Instagram clown. Like, I didn't mean nothing by it. Shit, I'm going to go for a handshake at the Met Gala. She like, wait, you left that comment? 2021? No. I'm going to be like, listen, all right, cool, look. Cool, you know? All right, cool. I'm running a tournament. Everybody join. You know how I get stuck. See, the thing is, I wouldn't even try to have sex with none of these celebrity women. Like I said, I want to be the guy that nobody in Hollywood can fuck. Why? Because it'll make me that much more mysterious. The fact that, like, I would have no Hollywood body count. They'd be like, I I tried to hook up with Delon Sparrow, but he just doesn't like he hung out with me. But I tried to have sex with him and he just said no. They're going to think I'm gay? Nah, because I'll eat pussy and all that type of shit and get top, but I won't do intercourse. You know what? The acting thing, it is going to work out. You know why? Because <clears throat> all I got to do is apply the same work, work ethic as I did with this fucking whole low tier God shit into another realm. I'm just, when I say roles like that, I mean like in the future of my career. I don't mean like right now. I mean, if I fucking take it, cool. I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna be satisfied or fully happy with my life unless I'm being a, an actor. She's just not a sexy chick to me. I don't see what these Hollywood niggas see in her, but I wouldn't wife. I wouldn't even date. I wouldn't even fuck. I'd be known in Hollywood for being the most arrogant, snooty ass nigga that don't even touch none of these bitches. I don't, I don't want no parts of these thoughts. Y'all can desire me, because clearly you will. I'm six foot five, peanut you know, butter complexions, abs chiseled like a fucking washboard, chest to pop, BBC to swing, jaw bones perfect, I, but I wouldn't do shit. Hold on, let me get to the, the Hollywood version of me. You guys know that you can see me playing in any of those fucking movies, any of them. How could I have not played a dope killmonger? How could I not play a war machine, a green lantern? Like, I could put on any costume and play any fucking character. And it doesn't even matter that I'm black, because that's how, that's how monumental my shit would be. Yeah, I could have done Thanos too. I don't think I could have done Spider-Man. I could be, uh, if I have a black one, I could do that. Oh shit, yeah, I could do Bishop too. There's nobody else that could do these roles with me. Like, here's the thing though. I'm not just trying to toot my own horn, but check this out. If there was a cable that was black, would you really be mad at it if I was the one to do it? No. Put some metal on my face? I'm already swole? You, nobody would even be mad at it. They'd be like, damn, what, uni what universe is that? All right, well then, fuck it. Hmm, all right. 
Oh man, I would have been a dope cyborg though, right? I'm the only black person on the planet that could play Batman, and nobody would be mad at it. Man, I just gotta hurry and get famous, man. The sky's the limit. I wanna do it all. I wanna be in video games. I wanna. I wanna be killed in multiple movies. The ultimate climax doesn't come for me in life until I'm a fucking millionaire. And not just one million, but a multi millionaire. Like, y'all niggas know what I wanna do. I wish I never told anybody I wanted to be an actor because obviously. Now people are trying to put a time limit on my success, but these niggas don't have shit going for themselves. Like these are worthless nobodies trying to talk about I'm running out of time. Like I'm not running out of shit, nigga. My success is not timed by some lame ass fuck. My success is gonna come through me, not based off when niggas think I'm gonna get famous or when niggas think I'm going to do movies or shows or whatever. Like I honestly, honestly feel like the creator has my life lined up perfectly so that I can do what I need to do. Like, I'm good. Like, I'm good to go, nigga. All I got to do is for somebody to tell me, yes, nigga, and it's over. I'm literally a walking Marvel character. Like, people tell me all the time, like, oh, you look like this. You look like that. Blah, blah, blah. Like, are you an athlete? Are you an actor? Like, people tell me that shit already. I'm, like, I'm already getting that energy from the universe. Like, I strongly believe and, sh and strongly do know that I will be a millionaire and I will be an actor. Regardless of how far-fetched that seems from worthless cucks, I'm saying it here right now. If I don't, if some, if some crazy miraculous reason in life happens where I'm not acting, nigga, I'll be miserable for the rest of my life. I don't give a fuck how I come on stream, what type of videos I drop, nigga, I will never be happy. Basically, I'm able to entertain millions of niggas. Clearly, if you look me up on YouTube, I am literally a walking precursor, precursed millionaire. Like, it's only inevitable for me to get this money on a crazy level. And, and me acting is not even just about the money that comes with it. But I'm gonna get her to unblock me one day because I already know I'm gonna be famous. So I'm gonna get her to unblock me one day. I'm not even worried about it. My very first interview from anything on a national scale, I'm going to bring up Janae Accio before I say anything in the interview. I'm going to be like, listen, I knew I was going to be here. I got one thing I need to say, and it's to and it's it's to Janae Accio. Um, I apologize. This is probably about such and such years ago. You put up a couple of pictures. Um, I said some things that probably would offend somebody that's real passionate about their body and soul. And you blocked me on Instagram. I want to know if I can get that that block, that unblock. Sorry about that. Uh, Janae Akia, I apologize. I think you're a beautiful soul. I think you make great music. Unblock me on Instagram, please. And that shit would just go viral. It makes absolutely no sense for me not to take that same pull that I have for millions of people that want to watch me rage and shit like that to do it on camera. It makes no fucking sense for me not to be an actor. I always knew I wanted to do that type of shit when I was a kid, but I didn't know how to break out of a shell. I didn't under, I didn't know if people really wanted to fuck with me, this and that, but that's just proof. I don't have a dream role. My dream is just to be an actor, entertain people for a living. So as long as I keep telling myself that I'm on earth to entertain, I don't see how I can fail. Like, I know what I got to do in life to get where I need to be. And it ain't streaming.